We're making homemade chocolate chip granola bars. A list of ingredients and directions are listed down below in the video's description box for your convenience. Grab a small pot, a 9 inch baking dish, and crank that oven to 325 degrees. Move over brownies, we're making granola bars. To a small pot on the stove, over medium heat, we're going to melt 5 tablespoons of salted butter. To that, we're going to add in half a cup of light brown sugar and a third of a cup of honey. We're going to let this melt down before we add in 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. Add in that vanilla after everything has melted down and you've turned off the heat. We're going to let this mixture cool down for about 5 to 10 minutes while we work on gathering our dry ingredients. To a large mixing bowl, we need 2 cups of old-fashioned rolled oats, 1 cup of Rice Krispies cereal, half a cup of sliced almonds or whatever your favorite nut is, half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter cup of whole wheat flour. We're gonna give this a quick mix before we add in our wet ingredients. Once everything looks good mixed in, add in the wet mixture. Just make sure it is cool to the touch and not at all hot. We're gonna be adding in chocolate chips and we don't want to accidentally melt them. At some point it might seem like it's just not coming together, like there's too much dry or not enough wet ingredients. Trust the process, there is plenty, just give it a really good mix. Once you no longer see any more flour particles on the bottom of your bowl, add in a third of a cup of mini chocolate chips. You can of course swap them out for peanut butter chips, white chocolate chips, or even mini M&Ms if you prefer. Give everything a good mix. Next, we need a 9 inch baking pan lined with parchment paper. Leave a little extra parchment on the edges for easy removal later. Grab your bowl of deliciousness and dump everything in. Using the back of your spatula, spread everything out as evenly as possible. I did find it helpful to use a measuring cup towards the end to really help pack everything down. Last chance, if you think your granola bars might have some bald spots, now's the time to add on more chips. Sprinkle on what you think is necessary and, same as before, using the back of your measuring cup, press it down into the granola. Into a preheated oven at 325 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. Keep in mind, the longer they stay in the oven, the crunchier they will become. So if you prefer a chewier granola bar, you might want to take them out at around 30 minutes or even a little less. And here it is, fresh from the oven. We're going to let this cool completely in the pan before we attempt to move it. This will give it a chance to completely set up. Once it does look cool, pop it out and start slicing. I like to cut mine straight down the middle. Give it a turn and down the middle again. You should now have four quarters. Take a quarter and cut it in half. Then cut each half in half again. This should make four granola bars. Go ahead and repeat this process for the three remaining quarters. In total, you should get 16 pieces. Here, let's have a quick look at one. I like it. Next, here's an ingredients list. Store your leftovers in an airtight container at room temperature for up to a week or in the freezer for longer. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out, and I'll see you all in the next video.